Welcome to the Swansea Tech Support.co.uk video Excel Macro Basics. In this video, we will be looking at how to copy macros into your workbooks. But before we do that, we just need to uh, check that we can actually access the Visual Basic Editor, which is here on the Developer tab. Now, you might find um, if you're on a new system that uh, the developer tab isn't actually showing. Now on um, Excel 2010 uh, you can enable it by going to the file menu, going into options, going down to customize ribbon and just check developer there and that will add it on. Another thing you might want to check is in the trust center Trust Center settings, and we now get our macro settings here, uh, which say, um, do we want to have um, notifications every time we um, open a workbook with macros? Um, I've set it here as enable all macros, because this is on my own personal computer. It's not linked to um, any company computer, so I'm pretty confident in my. Um, virus software and everything else and how I use it so that's fine for me but obviously how you do it depends on how comfortable you are with macros most of all if you're working for a company it'll depend on your um, company settings you might find that you can't actually get access to this depending on uh, the way your IT department has set it up but you just want to make sure that you do this according to your company policy and also make sure this uh, trust access to the VBA project object module is checked as well. So with those two done, now we've got macros enabled and we've got the developer tab enabled, we can get into Visual Basic which is over here, you can either click on that one or as you can see on the shortcut there, you can press uh, Alt plus F11 there, so I'm going to do that now, Alt plus F11, and we get into Visual Basic. And this is just uh, one that we saw in a previous video. Um, it's just a basic macro. Now, what I want to talk about first of all is this distinction between the personal folder and your project folder. This is the one here is the file that you're actually currently working on. So I'm using the um, time values workbook so and, they, and these are the sheets for my workbook and this means that this insert rows module will only work within my time values workbook to have this available to all the workbooks I need to copy it into my personal folder one little thing to note is depending on your company um, and the way things you have where you have things set up you might not actually have access to this personal folder um, in which case you'll need to import the module into um, every workbook that you want to use it with. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment but with uh, the personal folder you can simply come down, you can see I've already got one module in there anyway I can add, click on there and just add a new module come down to the name box here and I can just give my module a name I'm going to call it my insert rows module as I did before. Now you notice this is blank at the moment, but this just works just like a basic text editor. So we can press Control A on here, we can right click and we can copy all of this. Just make sure that everything is done down to the end sub uh, statement down there. So we've got everything covered there. Um, right click and copy that and then go back up into the one you had in your personal workbook uh, double click that to open it, you notice it's blank now and then we just paste it in there and that's all there is to that, you can just uh, put it in as normal text if um, you don't have access to the personal workbook and you only have your project uh, open you can do the same thing, you can just uh, go through, um, copy that, close down Visual Basic, close down the workbook, open up the new workbook um, where this insert rows module won't be, um, but you may have um, 
a blank module one which you can double click and paste it into um, or you if you don't have any modules there you can again just press insert module um, and then rename it as whatever you want and just paste it in into there one final thing uh, one final way of doing this if you're finding you have to do this you know, lots of times and you want to uh, make sure you have a copy of this module somewhere on the computer so you can import it we'll need, we can actually export individual modules so select uh, with your left mouse key the insert rows module right click and then go down to export file and this will export it as a BAS file. Um, you notice I've already done this previously uh, just to check it out but I'll, I can overwrite that um, and so I can save that yes I want to replace it and then when we want to import it same again we can just click on modules import file locate uh, the folder where we stored it and just insert it and then there we go we get we get it inserted and you can use that over and over again to uh, insert into lots of different um, in, into lots of different workbooks okay so I hope you found that useful um, that's all it's going to be for this video as usual if you've got any comments or any questions add them into the comment section below the video Okay, well, all that says, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.